In a stunning display of dominance, Arsenal crushed West Ham United with a resounding 6-0 victory. Revenge was on their minds after their previous loss to West Ham over Christmas. The first goal came in the 32nd minute when William Saliba headed in a corner. By halftime, Arsenal was already 4-0 up, with Bukayo Saka scoring a penalty in the 41st minute. In just six minutes, Gabriel headed in another goal, and Leandro Trossard curled a shot into the top corner, marking Arsenal's 8,000th goal in their history. Soccer's penalty was significant because it made him the youngest player since 1978 to reach 50 goals for Arsenal. At just 22 years old, Soccer has already played various positions, including left back, left wing back, right wing back, and central midfield. His versatility and impressive numbers of 13 goals and 13 assists this season make him a key figure on the right wing. Gabriel, Arsenal's Brazil centre-back, has become a crucial player both defensively and offensively. Since joining Arsenal in 2020, he has played the most minutes for the club, second only to soccer. In his 150th game for Arsenal, he became the leading goalscorer in the Premier League from set pieces, excluding penalties. His maturity and ability to control games have made him a valuable asset to the team. This victory against West Ham also showcased Arsenal's potential in the title race. With their biggest league victory under Mikel Arteta's tenure, they demonstrated their ability to score goals and handle the pressure. The win brought them level with Manchester City on goal difference and just one behind Liverpool. Arteta expressed his happiness with the team's performance and emphasised the importance of taking each game as it comes. Arsenal's next challenge will be against Burnley, a team they have struggled against in the past. However, this Burnley team, under the management of Sean Dyke, presents a new challenge. To learn more about Arsenal's success as an out-of-possession team and the enigma of two-footed players, check out the recommended reading. Stay tuned for more football news and updates from Football News Centre.